Hi, I'm David with Turner Bikes, and uh, hey, I am pretty stoked to be on Gravel Cyclist, by the way. Uh, watch the blog all the time, watch videos, read all the new stuff. So anyway, first and foremost, I'm a bike fan, so that's that. Cyclosis, Turner Cyclosis, this is, uh, we've had this for several years now. It started off as an aluminum bike that was more of a cyclocross race bike, meaning that the chain stays were a little shorter, had less tire clearance, of course, a little more aggressive geometry. But as gravel riding has developed, I have changed the geometry on the Cyclosis model to have a little slacker head angle, uh, longer top tube, and of course now we can use shorter stems and with the uh, slacker head angle, we're, we're maintaining our stability. Um, the uh, uh, tire clearance has gone up substantially. The, the current Cyclosis will take a 650B by 52 or a 700 by 45. And actually, you could go a little bigger than that. Maybe, I think a couple companies are now making 700 by 48 if you don't expect a mud day. All the Cyclosis is from the beginning have always had internal cable routing. This is no different. Uh, I have the little cap system so we can run DI2. We can use uh, full cable or the uh, axis, of course. Then there's a, a plug with zero holes in it so that it uh, keeps most of the water out and looks smoother. Um, bento box mount, uh, bottle cages underneath the down tube. Um, do the, uh, uh, of course, front derailleur um, mount and the, because uh, some people still run them. This is a T47 bottom bracket. Uh, it has the greatest variety of uh, cranks and bottom brackets that'll fit in it. You know, we certainly could have gone to a uh, inch and three-eighths English on it, but, you know, uh, basically we get the threads with the T47. Um, and then have the ability to run all kinds of internal bearings, external bearings. Um, the head tube is uh, tapered. There are no shims inside of it, uh, no monkey business there. It's a full CNC'd hunk of titanium, and each size has a, a specific head tube length uh, so that the taller riders are not ending up with a, you know, a ton of flexi steer tube or spacers hanging out the top. In the uh, video I'm sure you were able to see that the uh, bottom of the seat tube is flared out substantially and uh, the FEA that we've done on the bikes uh, both mountain and in road family bikes you know there's so much when you apply the crank loads there's so much flex at the bottom bracket area and you know historically uh, titanium is a you know known to be a, a soft riding or a comfortable material but there's some parts of the bike that we don't want to be soft riding we want it to you know snap too so by changing the contact area of the seat tube to the bottom bracket shell we make the bike feel it's it's noticeable the the snap when you stomp on the pedals but yet we maintain you know the nice ride of tie with a reasonable size uh, top tube and down tube you know this these are tapered and butted chain stays um, seat stays thanks to everybody at gravel cyclists for watching this and uh, if you want more information on the bikes uh, stop by our website turnerbikes.com and uh, check out the geometry or the pictures of the uh, uh, cyclosis. Hello, I'm John and um, I'm here with uh, Merlin Bicycles and I'm showing this uh, Merlin Exo Grid. We, um, the frame is laser cut with the windows and then carbon is inserted and bladder molded out and we can do it, build it as custom or as a stock frame and so uh, full bike price is going to be around that uh, twelve to fourteen thousand dollars what we do is we acquire all the tubes they're um, u.s made tubes and uh, tubes are sent out to california where they're um, laser cut then they go off to another facility where uh, the carbon's inserted bladder mold bladder molded out and then uh, turned down 
tubes come back to us and that's where we weld them. We weld them in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, thanks for coming by and check out our website. It's MerlinBikes.com. Howdy. Uh, hey, I'm Dave with Sage and today I want to show you the Storm King GP. Uh, we're launching it here at Sea Otter. Uh, the Storm King GP is based around SRAM's all-new Explore drivetrain, RockShox suspension, and zip components. And it's really uh, a gravel bike designed to go beyond uh, the, the normal bounds of gravel. Uh, the GP actually stands for Gifford Pincho which is a national forest in Washington state with thousands of miles of networks of trails and mountains and gravel roads and everything in between. And this bike is designed to tackle those sorts of adventures. What we've got here with this particular uh, Storm King GP is a custom finish that has been uh, polished then anodized and then bead blasted and a little bit of Cerakote to give you some extra finish options on there. With the, the rest of the bike from there, the Storm King GP is, we took our Storm King geometry and modified it for suspension. So this is a technically suspension corrected frame. So what we've done is we've slackened out the head angle, we've slackened the seat angle just a scooch, we've lengthened the chain stays a little bit, we dropped the head tube by five millimeters. We also, by slackening out the seat angle on this, we've actually set it specifically for a dropper post, which is zero offset only. So we, we did accommodate for that. Uh, but basically we've made this for uh, a little bit more adventure exploring where sometimes the road gets a little bit more technical and difficult than you would need without suspension. The bike is still capable of 700 by 50 millimeter tires. The SRAM drivetrain is one by specific, so there is no two by option for this at all. Uh, the cassette is a 1044. The rear derailleur is designed specifically for that cassette. The zip wheels are the Zip 101 Carbon Explorer wheels. So these are brand new wheels that are using the, the SRAM mountain bike or the Zip mountain bike wheel technology. And then we have the Rudy Ultimate suspension fork uh, from RockShox on the front of the bike with 40 millimeters of travel. And then the Coupe de Grasse of the entire bike is the, the wireless uh, reverb dropper post that also acts as a suspension post. And there's 75 millimeters of drop in the suspension post there too. Come over and visit us at sagetitanium.com and check out the Storm, Storm King GP on our website. Aaron Barczyk, back at the Sea Otter Classic here, 2021 with our GT2X. This is a new model for us here at Mosaic Cycles. Uh, it's in our G series for gravel and it is on the adventure end of the spectrum of gravel. So this bike um, works off of a 29 by 2.25 wheel platform or smaller, but why would you go smaller? And uh, this particular configuration has drop bars and is fitted up with a gravel group. So you have Shimano DA2 GRX. Um, just the standard GRX group fits on this bike with the big tire. Um, beyond that, the, the GT2X here is designed to be a very versatile model. So we'll have all the bag mounts, um, rack, fender, extra water bottle mounts, bento boxes, internal frame bags, everything bags, top bags, seat post bags, handlebar bags. Bags. And it's designed so that you can take it out and do some bike packing with it or some bike touring, um, however you fancy. Here we go. This is um, another version of that X bike. This is our GT1X, so it's more of a double butted, a little bit lighter weight. And it's mine, so of course it has XTR on it in a flat bar configuration. Super fun for touring uh, and bike packing. Um, I've decked it out here with all the accoutrement that you would need for a little bike packing. We had some uh, custom bags made by Oru Case here, a little Shimano Pro. Pro Discover bags, um, some salsa everything bags on the front, and um, I'm pretty sure this is enough set up to get you just about anywhere that you want to be going. Um, we're going to take off and do a little adventure after the show's over here, so I'm excited to get that going. Um, mount bike gearing on this particular one, this um, the, the X model is available and built out so it will fit a gravel group or a mountain bike group. Uh, this particular one I have the big, I think it's like the 1051 cassette with a 38 tooth front chain ring. If you want a bike nerd on some gear ratios real quick. Um, beyond that, just some, some Envy 
AG25 wheels uh, with some, what do we got there? Some WTB Riddler 225s. Fun setup. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we've really had a ton of fun with these new GT X bikes. If you want to check out more information on the GT1 or GT2 X, go to our website, mosaiccycles.com. Hi, I'm Jordan Hafner. I'm with Y Cycles. I'm the senior design engineer. Um, and we're going to kind of run you through one of the Y models. This is the R Plus. It is our gravel slash all road titanium mountain bike. Um, Y Cycles is known for all titanium. Um, we think we do it pretty well, and we make our tie bikes a little bit different than others. Um, so we focus on trying to kind of modernize the titanium um, frame. We do that by both cold forming our tubes, so you'll see some pretty radical tube shaping. That tube shaping is there to optimize ride quality and stiffness depending on the location. We also double butt all of our tubes uh, to help with weight savings and optimize uh, wall thickness based on high stress locations. All of our tubes are uh, made out of 325 titanium. Most of the dropouts are 64 titanium. The R Plus in particular is capable of fitting 700 by 50 C tires, 27.5 by 2.1 tires. Um, it's optimized for a one by drivetrain, so no two by, no front derailleurs, but you can fit a 48 tooth front chain ring on it so you can uh, get all that range you're looking for. Um, Updates to the V4 version include a uh, change to a 27.2 seat post. Um, purpose of that is to just add a little bit more compliance. Uh, the V3 was still running a 31.6, so we were looking to add a little bit more comfort. Um, other big changes are, again, the increased tire clearance that I already mentioned, um, increased chain ring clearance from a uh, 44 to, to a 48 tooth and then um, the utilization of the SRAM Universal derailleur hanger. So adds a little bit of uh, um, ease of, of being able to find a replacement hanger. Um, should be able to just go into any old shop and find one. So instead of our kind of proprietary hanger. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, check us out at ycycles.com. Give us a shout if you have any more questions on any of our models.